Some time ago I told you guys uh, that all the Fisher receivers, stereo amplifier receivers, were out on the shelf. Well, obviously not. Here's another one that I found, uh, purchased years ago. It's the uh, beautiful Fisher 400. And I guess the reason I bought this one is it was didn't have any tubes with it. So I'm not particularly worried about the tubing it up here because I know once I uh, tube her up and get her gone she's going to take off and fly like a rocket. I can buy replacement tubes. It's very difficult to get very clean front plates like you see here on this uh, fissure. So I'm going to count my blessings and I'm going to go put her on the wall of sound. Well guys it's nice to know I have so many fissures and this is a uh, fissure tube tuner. And it's a beauty. There's not a mark on the faceplate. And I like the way this guy, this seller, is another one. They put a box within the box. And he uh, cut out the back of the inner box so that this could uh, safely stick out the back of the uh, power transformer there. And I think that's really uh, a nice touch. So we'll pull it out here. And you can see it's all original. Yeah, it's got a beautiful, uh, beautiful face plate on it, and it is a, uh, it is a sweetie. It is the Stereophonic KM61 tube tuner. Isn't that a beauty? And this baby is complete. Plug and go. This is going to sound really awesome with, uh, probably with that nice hand-built uh, amplifier that guy made in, um, yeah, in uh, Sacramento there. So great. There's Missy. Yeah, well, you're you're like gobsmacked. You're looking at that like uh, CBS actually uh, actually made uh, tubes at one time, a division of Columbia Broadcasting System. Yes, they did. And this is from Rosie's own personal stock from a long time ago. And one of the things I uh, used to do was when people were throwing out old stereo consoles, right? Magnavox, RCA, some of the really, really nice ones, top of the line, like Magnavox. I would go grab them and then uh, convert them into just regular freestanding stereo amplifiers. And here's one from quite a while ago. And uh, it has four Russian output tubes, Svetlana tubes from uh, Russia. <laughs> because they really don't make tubes in the U.S. anymore. One big ass rectifier tube and two drivers down here. So kind of a nice unit to uh, hook up the speakers. We'll be getting fi them fired up. It's Magnavox made incredible sounding stuff. Well, I can stuff. say to the Russians it's Spasiva. Spasiva, there we go. The Kokpashevaya Shea. Spasiva, that's, uh, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your kind yeah. attention. Anyway, there she is, nice power transformer, two really nice audio output transformers. Yeah, anytime somebody's trashing a Magnavox or something like that, make sure you beat people over the head to get there first. Keep your eyes open, Craigslist. When they're, uh, when they're trashing them, these things make incredible amplifiers. The fidelity is, uh, is amazing on them, so. Well, that's our little tip for uh, money making today if you're out there and stuff. Of course, you have to dispose of the rest of the console, you know, all the wood. Just burn it up. <laughs> all right, there he is. And that's a, uh, that's a beautiful little, uh, little unit there that's going to make a lot of kick-ass uh, sound. So. All right. I think that deserves a place on the wall of uh, sound, don't you? So in she goes. Man, I would like to uh, kill the goof who invented uh, packing peanuts. It's a good thing it's not too damn windy. I get these damn things flying all over the place. I'm trying to unbox a uh, Fisher amplifier that came from a uh, console somewhere in there. So let me just deal with uh, getting all these uh, all these damn uh, packing peanuts put away before the late afternoon wind scatters them everywhere. I know you guys are thinking, ooh, Rosie, that's gross, gross, gross. That thing is all rusty, and it probably sat, you know, in a stereo console, Fisher stereo console unit, and uh, 
Got all boogered up with the moisture and stuff. Yeah, I know. But I'll tell you what, guys. I'm betting when I fire this thing up and get some uh, speakers set up and get a little input action put in, this thing is going to take right off because that's the way that fishers are. One of the reasons I bought this, and you may not be able to see it, maybe on the bottom there you can see Great Britain on these tubes and you don't really associate uh, Great Britain with uh, a lot of uh, manufacturing but but in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s the uh, Mullard Tube Corporation over in uh, England made some of the finest vacuum tubes in the world. They were so fine that uh, Fisher specced them into their uh, a lot of their stereo consoles and uh, standalone amplifier receivers uh, and yeah these things are worth a mint I don't know the shape they're in but I'm guessing because they're Mullard made they're gonna be amazing they're gonna sound amazing these are the uh, four outputs two for each uh, channel and then we have two drivers over here and a nice big juicy uh, power transformer there and uh, two really I bet they're really spanking nice uh, output transformers yeah, it's they're all it's always ugly, but you can't really judge by the uh, you know by the exterior on this stuff. This uh, and looking underneath, I don't see a lot of uh, rust and stuff in here. Some components should be replaced, but uh, you know I wouldn't be surprised knowing Fisher if a lot of this stuff is still very much in spec because of the quality of what they use. So. Is it going to go on the wall of sound? Yeah, you bet. I guess there's many people left that even uh, know the name Curtis Mathis, but in the, uh, starting the 50s and the 60s, Curtis Mathis was a very fine furniture maker down in uh, Texas down there. And when the uh, stereo and high fidelity took off in the late 50s and early 60s, they decided to make, to specialize in fine furniture electronics. They were outstanding cabinet makers of very high quality furniture and they decided, well, wouldn't it be nice if we put all the good electronic guts into our beautiful entertainment centers and TVs and things. Thus, Curtis Mathis got into the electronics end of, of uh, consoles and big units and that they became huge. By the 1980s, there were like over 600 or 700 franchise locations in the United States selling Curtis Mathis TVs and uh, stereo consoles and things. And their big tagline was, the most expensive television you'll ever buy. And it was true because it was so well made. Well, I bought a Curtis, uh, I was buying a Curtis Mathis amplifier out of a big stereo uh, console. And uh, the guy also happened to throw in the big uh, console tuner uh, part of it too, with the uh, with the old face plate on the front of it, which I thought was uh, pretty cool if I ever decide to put that in a standalone cabinet. But the but the uh, amplifier is always what I'm kind of interested in. These things are big and beefy, and uh, although I've never had the pleasure of hearing one in person. They are supposed to be, uh, they're supposed to sound amazing. So I'm excited to have it, and in the uh, future I'm going to do a whole special upload on their history of the Curtis Mathis company out of Texas, and uh, some of the outstanding uh, products that they put in the marketplace. And of course by that time I hope to be showcasing at least this uh, amplifier, if not this, uh, this uh, tuner part of it here. So, okay, well... I'd like to stop today and goof around with it, but I just don't have time. I've got to finish doing the, um, doing the uh, putting the boxes and stuff away, okay? Now you may be wondering, well, how, what's it looking like inside now? Well, there's a hell of a lot of boxes, uh, less boxes over here than there used to be, and I still have a lot of room. I have a lot of room up top side to get some of this stuff up. Some stuff is just, you know, ridiculously heavy, and I've tried to keep that on the lower level, as I'll explain in a little bit. So I'm down to just get organized the last few uh, boxes. I've got a lot of parts. That's for a different weekend. i got boxes of capacitors, resistors, 
crap coming out of my ears too to the top, but that's for a uh, that's for another time to get that, that done. So I think uh, uh, about another half hour or so, and we should be uh, pretty wrapped up in op Operation Reclamation, and I'll show you how I have everything organized at the end. This will probably be the last uh, item I shelf up today because I want to take my time for the last of the spots that I have available. But this is the uh, Knight KG50 AM FM stereo tuner. Early days of stereo and it is a uh, tube tuner, meaning you need to have an amplifier with the tube. It, the thing that struck me was the uh, beautiful shape that the uh, faceplate is, is in. Also the fact that uh, Knight made some very great stereo gear in the uh, 1950s, 60s, and through the uh, 70s. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shelve this up, and then we'll do one last, one or two last uh, chooches today here just to get it done, and we'll wrap it up. I'm happy to say, guys, I have reclaimed the uh, shop. I've got a ton of open space now. I've got 20 more stores up top, so I am psyched. I am thrilled. I also did more to fill up the uh, wall of sound, as I'll show you in a minute. So I have just a couple things left that are too, too big to be uh, shelved. Well, I'll give you a look at them. Everything cleaned up real good on the workbench. I even unboxed, I've had for quite a while, a pair of uh, Bose uh, full range speakers. And full range costs a lot more than regular speakers because of the frequencies that they uh, cover to the human ear. So what I did over here, guys, is I put all the, a uh, lot of the tube amplifiers up here. I have a lot of organ amps. I have some uh, repair projects for some solid state stuff. I, I made sure to design this workshop so I had a lot of storage room, which I do, and I've put a lot over here, all the uh, various organ. Basically, everything you see in boxes here was taken out of an uh, organ, an old uh, tube organ, some of the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, Hammond, Baldwin, uh, or Wurlitzer organ, so I have the amplifiers. I've been pick picking them up uh, over the years as uh, churches and places have been junking organs, and I don't just bust up organs to get the amplifiers, you know, but if somebody else has the organs destroyed or they had a fire or something like that, well, there you go. You can see I still have a lot more room up uh, top side there. I can see right there I have a Marantz, uh Ooh, that's a tape deck that needs a new uh, belt that I have the belt in a little bag that you can see next to it, and I haven't had time to put that in. I have a vintage fan up there, and of course I have the Eskimo fan down here kind of be, uh, to kind of be repaired. So yeah, it was a very productive day. Now, what are the big things here? I have two really big... I got two amplifiers in one box there. They're just too big to uh, dick with, so I'm going to leave them in there. And this, if you were watching some of the morning choo-choos, you remember that I uh, bought from some guy that got a big amplifier from China, a kit. The thing weighs about 60 pounds, and he basically gave up on it. So uh, I'm going to see if I can put it together. It's, it's a million parts in there, so we shall see. Well, let's head inside and wrap up on the uh, wall of sound. I'm on the uh, wall of sound now, and I think you'll agree it, it's really getting more and more impressive here. We've basically filled up the uh, center here and today went a long way towards doing that. I didn't do a little mini upload on every piece that I put up here like the Nico NR uh, 1015, one of those stereo amplifier receivers you've probably never heard of but it's remarkable and people pay a lot of money for them. These days I've got, uh, yeah, I've got amplifiers I've now added up here, so I'm really, really excited. So it was a productive day. It's always, it's only going to get better from here and more exciting as we uh, showcase and uh, exhibit some of the stuff that we have on the uh, wall of sound here and do some of the various repair projects. Thanks for being along today, guys. Thumbs up. Think that you are always appreciate it. Thanks.